Father, in Jesus' name, we come before you. And Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be able to share with this couple today. Father, we pray that everything that takes place here is going to be able to honor you. And God, that not only would you encourage them through their vows, but Lord, you would just inspire them by the word of God to live out every part of the institution of marriage that you have designed perfectly. And Father, for knowing that you'll do that, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. husband and the wife are serving one another every day in their marriage, wanting to put their other one first, wanting to be able to take care of their needs, wanting to be able to love them through their service, and everything they do is be to build one another up. Based upon the principles that you have just heard, do you promise to take Rachel to be your wife and to allow God to perfectly design your marriage? Rachel, based upon the biblical foundation that you have just heard, do you promise to take Brad to be your husband and to allow God to perfectly design your marriage? Do you join right hands with Rachel, please? And repeat after me. I promise to love you. I promise to love you with all of my heart. With all of my heart to be true and faithful. To be true and faithful. Patient and kind. Patient and kind. And unselfish in this love. And unselfish in this love. I promise to stand beside you always. Beside you always. In times of joy. In times of joy. In times of trial. In times of trial. And in times of sorrow. And in times of sorrow. I dedicate our marriage. I dedicate our marriage and our home and our home to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Christ. I pledge myself, I pledge myself, and all that I am, and all that I am, in love. Brad and Rachel, these rings that you will share with one another will be forever a symbol of the vows that you're taking today. To symbolize your sacred vow, to Brad, I want to ask that you place that ring on the third finger of his left hand and hold it there and repeat after me before God and to Brad your ring vow. <laughs> <laughs> It'll work, I promise. I gained some weight. <laughs> At this time, Brad and Rachel will participate in the unity ceremony. Believing that this is your deepest intention, it's my privilege as a minister of the gospel and by the power and authority that invested in me by the state of Florida to pronounce that from this day forward, you are husband and wife. And we pray for you a blessed marriage. Brad, you may kiss your bride. Goodness. <laughs> Turn and face one. Go ahead and get your book. I've been waiting to do that the whole time. <laughs> we do this. Okay, I'm sorry. Around the truck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Brad 
Nixon. 